video. So today I am taking the time to really declutter and organize my closet. I just did a capsule wardrobe sharing all of my clothing choices for the summer season. So if you're interested in that video, I will leave that linked above for you. But I just decided to throw everything back into my closet and get all my summer season clothing sorted through. And I like to do this quite often actually, just because I do have a Poshmark closet now. I do keep a lot of all the clothes that I wear. It just helps me stay on track with clothing that I'm using. And if I find myself not wearing a particular piece, I will end up just either selling it on Poshmark, giving it to a family or friend, or donating it to a thrift store. I just like to have my closet clutter-free, organized, and full of clothing that I love, that I wear, and that I will get a lot of use out of. So I pulled a couple ideas from a blog post that I will leave linked down below for you. I just like using other people's methods and finding out what works for them, and then incorporating it in a way that works for me. Before we get started with this video, I just wanted to quickly say thank you to all of my sweet and lovely subscribers who are coming back to watch this video and hang out with me. Thank you so much for your support and I really hope that this video is inspiring for you. I upload every Monday and Friday. I do fashion content, clothing reviews, sometimes lifestyle makeup content. So if you enjoy stuff like that, don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more from me. And if you want to be notified every time I upload, just don't forget to hit that notification bell. Everybody comment down below. Let me know that you were here so I can chat with you. That is my favorite part of uploading and being on YouTube is just getting to know you guys. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started with this video. The first thing that I did was just completely clear out my entire closet. I separated my clothes into three piles as I was going through it. So I had a pile where I was going to keep everything and then I had one for Poshmark where I can sell clothes that are not damaged, still in great condition and that I feel like somebody else would really enjoy. And then the third pile I made to donate to local thrift stores. And then one was for clothing that was ripped stained and that I just knew I wasn't going to keep. So that was for clothes that I actually decided to throw away. There are so many things that you can do to make your closet very aesthetic with just the smallest improvements. So before I went and threw in all my clothes into my closet, I kind of just stepped back and looked at my closet. I just kind of took note of the things that I needed to make improvements on. First, I just dusted out my closet. I wanted everything to be nice and clean and fresh. And then I added a new scent to my closet. I have these essential oil diffusers that I love using in my room. So I just sat that diffuser inside the closet. And then I noticed some things that I wanted to change in the future, like maybe adding wallpaper, finding a cute design to put in there, or maybe even doing um, a touch up on the paint. One thing that I was super excited to add to my closet was actually something that Paul built for me. It was a shoe rack. He just built it out of wood. I used this rack to take advantage of as much room as possible. 
So that's one thing that you can do just to use all the space in your closet. Um, you could also do like the shoe bags that go over the wall. There's a lot of really cute ideas that you can use to store your shoes. You can also keep your eye out for different ways that you want to decorate your closet. So I liked adding greenery to my closet. And then I added my boho baskets that I got from TJ Maxx. I've actually had these ones for a while. I just love the little pom-poms on them. I keep my workout wear and just like sports bra and stuff and sweatshirts in the big basket. And then in this little basket, I actually keep all of my styling cards from Stitch Fix. Sometimes I just need some outfit inspiration and I get a lot of ideas from these styling cards. So I just keep them in this little envelope and keep them tucked away in this basket. And I like to keep them near the closet so that I can just reach for them if I need some some inspiration or I just need a new idea. You could do something like this just by printing off some of your favorite outfit combinations on Pinterest. There are a lot of pins on Pinterest that just show really cute outfit combinations and you can just have them inside your closet. You could have them inside your dresser drawer or something like that. Just have them close or nearby so that you can reach for them whenever you need them. And while I was taking this time to think about improvements and stuff like that, I thought about a couple things that I could do with hooks. I could add some shelves just to utilize all the space that I have in there. I plan to invest in all matching copper hangers, which I'll leave the Etsy shop that I plan to buy from. It's definitely going to take a little bit of time for me to get enough hangers to hang up all the clothes that I have. I really liked the suggestion by the blog post to organize your clothing by how you would display it. So maybe think about your favorite local boutique or favorite store that you would walk into and you just can appreciate how they display the clothes, how they organize it, and maybe think about bringing that into your own closet. You could organize it by clothing category, by color, by pattern, and something that I've even considered was just turning my closet into a capsule wardrobe. I decided to go with the clothing category. So dresses with dresses, skirts with skirts, tops with tops. I kept all the summer clothing towards the middle of the closet just so that they were really easy to reach for and I didn't have to go towards the outer edges of my closet. So I love all the little improvements that I made in my closet just by adding a little bit of nice scent and making sure that everything is cleaned out before I put everything in. And then just all the clothes that I got rid of, I just feel so much better. Um, I just feel like I'm gonna be able to use all the clothing that I have. But I do have some plans for the future. I have some ideas that I wanna turn my closet into and it's definitely going to be a process. It's not gonna be just like a one video type of thing. But hopefully I can start checking them off my checklist and start accomplishing each one. I hope I gave you guys some inspiration. I really enjoyed making this video. I got a lot done today. Let me know if you decide to declutter your closet and maybe add some improvements or just get your clothes organized and sorted through. So let me know if you did. Comment down below. Let me know how it's going and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!